Have you ever thought of all the things in your life that are the same? We all have certainties in our lives, things that are always known to us, like our name. Even before we are born, our parents have already decided for us. Certainty creates balance, stableness, and peace of mind. Now, can you think of something that is always unknown or changing in your life? We face uncertainty too, something that is usually not as pleasant. Will I get the job? Will I have to work late on this new project? Should I buy this t-shirt or that one? We live with uncertainty every day, and yet it never gets easier. Uncertainty is scary because it is shapeless. I was only nine months old when my parents moved from the big city of Valencia to a smaller town called Requena, where my mom and her family had been living for a very long time. Because so many generations of my family had been living there, there were certainties to me the moment I was born. It was somehow written that I was going to attend the same elementary school and high school my mom had attended and my cousins were attending. I knew that I was going to live in the same city for at least 18 years. I knew that I would eventually graduate to attend university in Spain. I was going to follow a similar path my family had. Based on these giving things, I constructed my own certainties. I joined a scout troop, which I loved, and I knew it was going to be a part of my life for a very long time. I joined a music school, and in just a few years, I learned to play the saxophone. I had a stable group of friends. I lived a stable life. But then, when I was 11, I moved to China. And everything that had been certain to me until then collapsed. My life had gone from being defined to being completely unstable. I was no longer sure of my future. I didn't know what my high school life was going to be like. I didn't know whether I was going to live in the same place anymore. I didn't know whether my current friends and teachers would stay the following year. And not only I was uncertain about the future, which seemed at that moment so changing and vague, but I was uncertain about my past. How can we ever be uncertain of the past? It has already happened. When I left Spain, I left behind the certainties that had been given to me and those that I had constructed. But I no longer knew whether when I returned for the holidays, those certainties would still be standing or there would be nothing left of them. I was powerless to the uncertainties of my past and my future. Since then, I have been going back to Spain every summer for five years. Every summer, I take with me my new perspectives, my ways, new ways of living and experiences that I have developed living in a foreign country. But these experiences and ways of living and perspectives are so different to those of my friends back home. I no longer follow the same way of life that most teenagers do in my hometown. I am different. This makes me uncertain about my place as a teenager in my hometown. Am I really from Requena if I have broken this way of life and have a different fate waiting for me? If so, where exactly is my place? I also find my friends back home strange. I find their ways of communicating, talking to each other strange. I feel strange with those people that were once so similar to me. Again, this only helps uncertainty grow. Have I changed too much? 
Am I just too different to ever fit in this context? Will I ever find people similar to myself? During these five years, I have realized that it is no longer, that it was no longer about enduring uncertainty and living with the worries and the fears, but rather about embracing it. I realized that the worst way to deal with uncertainty is to do nothing. For me, embracing the uncertainty of my past has led me to reclaim my curiosity. The ability to ask questions about ourselves in our changing environment is what keeps an open mind, even if these questions are related to our insecurities or uncertainties. When we stop expecting to know how the world exactly works, we can understand the ways in which it doesn't work as we expected it to. We become more open to fresh ideas, the diversity of life and experiences and perspectives. And best of all, an open mind, especially when combined with courage, allows us to take advantage of the most unexpected opportunities. I also live in a constantly changing future. My classmates and friends are never stable. I have changed my circle and friends in Beijing several times. In fact, today, only one of my classmates from my first year in BIS is still in school. As a teenager who's more aware of her environment and the people around her, I'm also uncertain about this factor. Will my friends be here? How will I ever form lasting relationships if the people around me are constantly changing. While being in Beijing, the future for my family has also been unstable. We have been trying to find new adventures and this year we have decided to move forward. I'm starting all over again. I will once again have to leave behind the certainties I have constructed. Only this time, in Beijing. Big change awaits my entire family. But somehow, the uncertainty of the future seems different now, less scary. During these five years, not only I have learned to deal with the uncertainty of my past, but also of my future. I have learned to welcome change and the unknown. And by doing so, I have realized the great potential uncertainty has. If we make the effort to get out of our safe, predictable comfort zones, or simply we're pulled out of them by the circumstances in which we live, we're better able to listen to ourselves and our desires. We should not be held by the certainties of our past and our futures. We should not be held by our fear and worry of uncertainty. We should be defined by what we want. Just as uncertainty can be this blank canvas onto which we project our greatest fears, it can also be the surface upon which we write our dreams. Antonio Machado, who was a Spanish poet, wrote a very famous poem during a time of self-search and doubt, much like the one I underwent when I left Spain. In one of the verses of his poem, he said, Wonder your, fo your footsteps are, the road and nothing more. Wonder there is no road, the road is made by walking. And Daniel Machado understood that when we let go of the need for certainty, we're better able to forge our own path. The unknown is open to what you decide you want to do with it, which pathway you want to take. Certainty, on the contrary, creates saneness, limits our ways of thinking. We must stop looking for clear, cut roads through life. Because if we do, we are able to wander into the open, 
letting our footsteps become the path. That is the power of uncertainty. Even if uncertainty might lead us to crossroads, where we don't know which direction to take, let uncertainty be the opportunity to explore new pathways. See this crossroad as a way to learn more about yourself and your desires, as a way to ask questions about your environment, create an open mind. If you have found yourself in an uncertain situation, relationship, stage of life, embrace it, love it, realize the potential it has to help you grow. See it for what it is, a gift. Thank you.